channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification so we can get to 10k by the end of may that's my goal so yeah help me out with that you guys make sure you share this video so i'm gonna show you first guys. time using the stocking cap method this is bomb curly bob this video is brought to you by ywigs.com i think this is my best frontal to date and i'm only gonna get better so i'm super excited about this y'all know summer's around the corner which means it's bob season so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions I didn't answer in the video, go ahead and leave them down below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I will catch y'all. All right, y'all. So this is the cap that I'm gonna be using. So I place it over top of my little raggedy braids, and I'm gonna be using the Got to Be gel and the spray. So I just started to apply the gel to like the forehead area of the cap, and basically this method is just creating a balding cap to make it look super super natural. So I'm just gonna take my rat tail comb and I'm gonna press the gel into the cap so that it will stick and I'm making sure I get like over by my ears really well so like I said this is my first time doing this and I definitely learned um, from my mistakes so as you guys can see it's pretty far down on my forehead and I'm actually gonna go back in and cut some more off but I didn't show that on camera but next time I know that I don't have to do it down that far So after I made sure that the gel was evenly distributed, I took the free spray and I started to spray everywhere where I put the gel at and I'm just gonna take my rat tail comb and evenly distribute that over top of the gel. So now I'm just blow drying the cap and I used my blow dryer on a cool setting because you don't want to melt the spray or the gel. So make sure that you use a cool setting and you want to make sure that it's completely dry. Like y'all will be able to see it won't be like shiny or any anymore. It will be nice and matte and that's how you can tell that it's completely dry. So then after it was dry, it took about maybe 20, 30 minutes and I took my eyelash scissors or eyebrow scissors, whatever they're supposed to be for. I took those and I cut as close as I possibly could without cutting my skin or my little edges off. And I just cut around the perimeter of the cap and then I cut around my ear. So my camera died. I was planning on showing you guys how I cut the lace off my cap, but I use these zigzag scissors. Tierra Monet is a genius for this tip, y'all. You already know she's always coming through with the tips. So I use the free spray again. I'm to adhere my lace to my forehead. So I'm just letting that get a little bit tacky and I was spreading it out with the back of my dual ended edge comb. I'm just pressing that lace into my skin, making sure that it's melted down. And I'm just using my rat tail comb. They tell you not to use your fingers because of the oil. So I was just using my comb to make sure that it was on my skin and it was secure. So now I'm just taking out the little sideburns that I wanted to have, like when I took my hair behind my ear and have a little sideburn. And I took a eyebrow razor that you shape your eyebrows up with and just trimmed it a little bit. So now I'm just trying to figure out which side I wanted to wear my part on. And I'm just cutting a little bit of baby hairs. And before, I didn't, I don't think I showed me doing my baby hairs on camera because my camera died. But before I did my baby hairs, I did them with some mousse first and then I applied some got to be gel to hold them down in place so yeah I just feel like the hairline needs to be tweezed a little bit more so I did that and then I'm gonna go ahead and separate behind my ear on both sides and then I cut the back in a like upward angle motion you guys will see as soon as I get done cutting it it's already in like a bob formation so after that you guys I just pretty much lined up the back to the front in a asymmetrical type of shape and that's it, you guys. Like, this was really, really simple. And I cut this bob in probably, like, five minutes. So. Follow the guy line that you made in the back and line it up to the front. Nothing hard at all. So 
So now I'm just spraying the hair down with some water and I will link everything that I'm using you guys down below if you are interested in purchasing anything that I'm using. And I wanted it to have like that wet look and define the curls a bit more since I had been running my fingers through it. So I took some Lot of Body Coconut Shea um, like foaming mousse and I love that product on this hair. It worked so, so good and it smells really good. The curls really good and it gave it a soft hold. It was not crunchy at all. So I love this product for this hair. Do y'all see how freaking pretty the curls or the deep waves are? It's so pretty. I have been obsessed with this hair and I've gotten a lot of compliments. So I had to pull out my hot comb to make sure that the part was nice and laid down. And I just took some Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 25, I believe, and just, you know, made my part a little bit more defined. And then I put some powder in the front of the lace and where my little baby hairs were just to make it look more natural and that really help. So that's pretty much all I did, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you have any questions I didn't answer, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know how y'all like this style. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Came through dripping, drip, drip. Came through dripping, drip, drip. Came through dripping, drip, drip. Diamonds on my wrist, they dripping. Ice.